Hello and welcome back to our Red Run Challenge in Monster Hunter Generations, where today we're going to be fighting a Cephadrome, because darn it, I need some fins. So, uh, we might have one in one star. We've already done that one. Okay, um, maybe two star will have one. Would be nice. Okay, um, I did not think this through. Though I do think if we do this, it might unlock a quest with two Cephadrome. Uh, first I'm gonna head back to Berna, make sure there are no Cephadrome quests in the village. Also, I think a few people wanted to talk to me like, hey, this guy. And you. Okay, that's less exciting than I was hoping for. Hi. So, Cephadrome would, well, I guess it would be in two star, but it was already in two star. So that's gonna be a thing. But maybe, just maybe, there's one hiding elsewhere. That would be nice. If not, then we're not doing Cephadrome today. Surprise, surprise. Okay, for a moment I thought I saw a fresh Rathian quest, but no. No, I did not. Okay. This is not looking good for us. Well, that is a Cephadrome. And I did say that I would hunt a Cephadrome today. This will be interesting. Got to make sure we eat something nice. This will do. Okay, we haven't got any, uh, Sonics, but we also haven't got any gunpowder, but we also only have one fire herb. So I guess we're going in without any spare Sonics. Gonna need to farm some fire herbs. I need to unlock the farms for honey and other things, but mostly honey. It probably would have been a good idea to bring some extra cool drinks. What's the sub? 700 points? We can probably do that. Who's first? Gendrome. And that means this way. Thankfully, Gendrome starts off in a not-hot area and can go to plenty of other not-hot areas. So we've got a decent chance of not needing cool drinks for the Gendrome. For the other two, we will need cool drinks, so... You know, it's not all sunshine and roses. Seriously, you jump down just to jump back up over there? You little jerk. Darn it, press the button too early. All right. Oh no, it's mad.
So this thing shouldn't last very long, considering it's a village gendrome in a multi-monster quest. I just need to, you know, get hits, which is a little annoying on these dromes, because, you know, they aren't exactly immobile. And if we can break its crest, get a wyvern tier, then we'd have the subquest right there and we might not have to worry so much about cool drinks. And yeah, it's limping already. Wyvern tier, please. Yeah. All right, so he'll now be over here. Which should be where he dies. Okay, I guess he limps straight over into here. Yep, there he is. Sleeping like a babe. Just using regular hits. Don't want to waste my arts on him. Apparently I also don't want to waste accuracy on him. Poor cat. There we go. Managed to get an upswing on his dead flying corpse. As opposed to his live flying corpse. Gotta make sure your corpses are all dead, folks. Otherwise you get zombies. Okay, let's head to the base camp, turn in our tier, and get our hands and the rest of us on the bed. No sense using a first aid med when, you know, we've got time, we can use the bed. Oh. Why did I think a tier was 700? I feel like maybe it was in some previous game, probably try. But I guess we're still on the hook for a bit more. That's not the exit. So next we've got the fish. Looks like we've also got to go ahead and recharge our shield. Really should have just drawn into axe mode. All right, here we go. There's our fishy friend. But we'll let him spot us while we charge up on Apsaros. Who thankfully have enough HP for the job. Though that one's dead. Now we're in business. Really? Just by walking? How heavy are you? So, since this guy is, of course, our primary goal for this quest, we want to make sure his back fin and tail fin both get busted. Back fin will be done in by a ride or two, tail fin will be done in just by like three hits. And then we can be happy, because there's a very, very high chance that we'll get the fins we want from them. Unfortunately, this is actually not a great position for us, because we are steadily going downhill. Okay, I feel like that should have gone through the tail and, you know, scored a hit. But whatever. Yeah, wriggle your way on out of this pit. Get over here, fish. No, cats, come on. 
Is it enraged? It's probably enraged. Then again, if it was enraged, it would be trying to reach us more. Yeah. Right call. Yeah, this thing's much more aggressive when it's enraged. Surprise. Surprise. But, uh... Yeah, if it's underground while not enraged, it'll often try and avoid you rather than seek you out. As it's doing now, because it's not enraged. But hey, we've got our point total now. Here, have some more of this. Ooh, excellent. It's a shame that a lot of those hits actually went to his wing fins. Because those don't break and don't count towards any break. But we did get the tail fin already, so we're already at a pretty good chance to get what we want out of this quest. I just want to have an even better chance. Because we've seen how I've done with pretty good chances so far. You know, chances like 80%. And I know I shouldn't be going for the face so hard when I still haven't broken the back fin, but I mean, it's there and it's another break. Then again, it's a super low value break. So let's, let's get the cats over here. And me over here, and the fish over here. And once everyone's over here, we can have a good time. That's one way to get over here. Good job, fish. Okay. Unfortunately, you were a bit too far from the ledge. No, oh, why'd you have to slither on over there? Cats, get over here. Seriously, I would not mind... If there was a button that made the cats come to you and stay next to you until you pressed another button to make them go away. Like if you pinged and they came to you and would just stay there until you ping again. That would be pretty great in my opinion. But no. There is no such button. Ah, thanks for joining us, sunshine. Okay, that was the cat, not me, but I'll take it. So let's try and hit back here. Because the belly and the back fin are actually the same hitbox, but he's limping away. So, yeah, let's let him go. We can get a back hit while he's asleep. And that should do the back fin, I hope. We've gotten a few hits beyond just the one ride, so... There's a chance. Was considering going for that blue node, but mining here isn't very good. I'm just gonna slowly make my way on in there. That ought to be good. All right. There it goes. And it's not going to take much more to kill this guy, so... Waste of multiple files and shield. I was distracted by it dying. Of course, the shield was going to go away before Nibble Snarf showed up anyway. Ooh, hey, a fin. We could have kept the files, though. So let's sharpen on up. Thanks, Polisher. And then we'll go to turn in our points 
and thereby get the subquest complete. Cat, that was a freaking Kelby. Those are not frightful monsters. Apparently my cat is more afraid of Kelbys than it is of Gendromes and Cephadromes. Okay. Yeah, no more cool drinks, but since we've still got the first one active, I don't think we're going to have to worry. Have yet to use a first aid med, too. It's almost as though I know how to fight these monsters, and we have our armor upgraded enough that the hits don't matter that much. But that couldn't be it, could it? It could and is. So I wonder which one of the sand piles is Nibble Snarf. Which one could it be, guys? Take your guesses, everyone viewing at home. Oh, it was that sand pile? No, it wasn't. This sand pile doesn't have a nibble snarf in it. See? Uh, ooh, opening with this, huh? Then I'll open with this. Whoop. Oh, that was good timing. What's not good timing is my, you know, not having a charged shield, but Energy Blade doesn't care about that. Wow, just instant handbrake. Nice. I'll have to keep that in mind for the other hand. Seriously, you're doing this again? After it worked so well last time? Okay, as much as I want to go for the sparkly, this is more valuable right now, especially because it generates another sparkly. Free sparkly, free damage. Yeah, it's worth it. And it looks like from the very middle, we can still kind of reach the face. If I was angled a little differently, that would have been a hit. Okay, let's get the first sparkly now. Considering we no longer have any bombs. Really? A third time? He was going for the cat. No, he was going for me. He just missed. Hmm. Interesting. So how's this going to work? Oh, you just... You don't slide down while you're gathering. I guess that makes sense. No, it doesn't. You want to pop out of the sand there? That's a good boy. Whoop. Oh, snap. Done got us a KO. So let's just go to town right here. Unfortunately, we didn't really have any ability to break anything. I mean, we could have broken a foot, but it's more worthwhile to break that when he's not KO'd so that we can potentially get a knockdown out of it. Because knockdowns come with chances to hit the uvula. Of course, so do ride knockdowns. So really, we should be going for a ride. More than anything. Oh, hi. Hi. 
You really got to do that? Couldn't you have done your little wind tunnel? I would have liked that. Okay, still close enough to the ledge. I just messed it up. Yep, I messed it up good. Running out of shield charge. But, ooh, look who's tired. So let's break the limit here. And then shove those in there. And then find our chance to ruin those gills. Yo, Snarf, hold still. Hold still, Snarf. Snarf, hold still. Hold still, be tired. It'll work. It won't work. That was the nose. But, oh, my weapon's out. Maybe we can still get some gill hits here. Nah, I don't think we got a one. All right, let's shove all these in the shield since Snarf's going away. Ooh, Snarf's going to have a meal on the other side, isn't it? That's not good for us. That means we're not going to get those gills. Oh, well. We can get the uvula as long as we ride it. really wish my energy blade hit the gills instead of the nose. That would have been nice. Might have hit the gills if it was the blade and not the butt that hit it, but I can't change that anymore. Yep. Wow. Dropped combat for just a moment there, huh? Um, excuse you. Okay, we need to try for a ride. Like this one. Would have been nicer if I still had Energy Blade, because that would destroy the uvula instantly, I'm sure. But I think our axe can probably do a decent job of it anyway. I really feel like those chomps should come with some, uh, some hold R prompts, because the fact that they don't despite having such sudden jarring movement, which just weirds me out. And I don't think we're going to get this because I had to sheath my weapon, but yeah, we're not getting it. It was worth a shot. Ow. Cat Sparkly. Don't care about those. All right, buddy, you want to? Yeah, there you go. No, no, stay. Stay out. Our first heal of the quest. Or at least our first item heal. Yeah, this is what I want to see. Let's get out of the way. Wow. That little bounce was enough, huh? Let's go ahead and fill that. Interesting that you decided to do that twice in a row. Almost made me think that you were getting tired and your gills were popping out again. Really? Angle was slightly off. Might as well try for a second ride. Or, you know, just miss. That works too. Yeah, please stay out of the sand. Gonna, gonna swim away. Darn, 
Wasn't quite close enough. Oh well. Easy enough to follow. Oh, you went to the other desert area. Hopefully you won't decide to leave before we show up there. Would be unpleasant if you did. Because then I'd have to chase you down again. Even though I'd know exactly where you were going this time. It would still be annoying. Hi. Really? <laughs> One hit? Wow. <sighs> now I am upset I missed it with that last attack while it was limping away. But hey, whatever. We did it. We did the sub. We're at least one cephalos fin up from where we were. Yeah, we're, we're going to be able to make a weapon out of this, which is more than I can say about the last several quests. And a lot less than I wish I could have said about the last several quests. So it looks like it was a good thing we broke both the back fin and the tail because we only got one fin in rewards. And I think we might actually have needed three fins from this quest, not two. I hope I'm wrong. I sincerely do. But I'm probably not. None of these is great. But Zenny is nice. All right, let's see whether or not we can do anything. Nope. We were, in fact, one short. Why does this keep happening to me, viewers? Is it somehow your fault? I bet it is. So, I'm getting desperate. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do that two Velocidrome quest because I'm pretty sure it unlocks double quests for a lot of bird wyverns and also for Cephalos, or Cephadrome. And if it does, in fact, unlock a two Cephadrome quest then I can do that and finally get something. And if it doesn't unlock one, well, it should be pretty quick anyway, so we can probably do some other short quest. So yeah, that's the plan for next episode. See you then, friends.